Hey guys, this is Coral and welcome to another weekly update video of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in any of the pieces mentioned in the video, just send me a message on the social media platform links in the description below. Also, if you want to see more photos, just check out the description as well. Got one of these sold out Thanos on Throne available. This is the exclusive early bird version, so all the switch outs will be there. It is ready to ship, so no more waiting time. We got a new base for the Spider-Man 2099. Spider-Man 2099 remains the same, only the base was changed to better match the line the studio is doing. We got the full reveal and the open pre-order for the Symbiote Spider-Man version. This is already the prototype. The regular blue-red Spider-Man version is actually sold out and shipped already. So don't miss out on this Symbiote version. We have the prototype reveal for this Gunslinger spawn. This diorama definitely came out amazing. It will be the best Gunslinger for sure. Also comes with some crazy switchouts and even a stand to display all these switchouts. We have the full reveal of this Kratos on Throne. This is sculpted by Caleb Nefson. I think this is going to be the grail of all God of War statues and definitely a mass up for God of War fans or gaming fans. Next, we have this M. Bison on Throne, probably the best Street Fighter statue around. He is ready to ship, still has some stocks available, so just hit me up if you are interested. Next, we have the spawn statue, probably gonna be the grail of all spawn statues, and there's still a few slots left available. We got the prototype reveal for this Hellwalker spawn. This is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen and it is not your typical spawn statue since spawn is obviously naked but nonetheless uh, the sculpt looks fantastic still. We have the new prototype reveal for this Drax. It's more vibrant than the original prototype. I know this has been a long time coming. Anyway, the base has also been reduced so it is much easier to display now than it was before. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this Berserker Wolverine life-size bus. Gotta say, this is the first Wolverine bus that I considered buying. Not really into bus, but this one looks really good and unique in my opinion. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this museum type Carnage. This is part of that uh, museum line. The first one was Venom. And like the Venom before it, I really like the transformation portrait on this Carnage. The overall sculpt is very detailed, lots of textures and details like I mentioned. I think this is one of the best museum type Carnage out there or even the best Carnage in general. We got the full reveal of both the blue and black prototype of this museum type Venom. This Venom has the best transformation portrait like I said before and it totally did not disappoint. And their Carnage companion piece is also quite amazing. We got the prototype reveal for this museum type Spider-Man. This came out amazing. Love how vibrant it came out. Now, production can finally start for this. I'm very, very excited for this piece since I do have this on pre-order. This is a sold out statue, but I still have some of them available for sale. We have a new museum type Venom revealed and wow I do like this one, very very muscular, the portraits also looks pretty damn good. Hey. 
we got the full reveal of the prototype of this Venom pool. Prototype came out amazing, very vibrant colors and very very detailed. Love the sculpt as well as this is by Angad Singh, one of my favorite sculptors. We have a full reveal for this Wing Venom by Caleb Nefson. It will most likely be already sold out once you see it in these videos. I do apologize for that. Anyway, this Venom will come in two different versions to choose from. Each torso is posed differently and will have two different portraits. Wings will be removable and he will have a switch out arm with the Necro Sword. Lastly, it has three configurable options for its base. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this Etrigan, probably one of the nicest Etrigan one port scale statue out there. Also quite rare to see this character actually being made. So if you're looking for one, definitely don't miss out on this version. We have some photos for the prototype of this Ultimate Magneto. Pretty sure full reveal of the prototype will be real soon. We have some updates on the prototype of this Mr. Sinister. This is the cell shade version of the prototype. There will be a different or normal version one coming. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Aquaman on Throne. It is sculpted by Angad Singh. Comes with two versions to choose from. Either you go with the big or small throne base. It does have a torso switch out as well as a torso stand. We have some professional photos of this Thanos on Throne. This one is ready to ship so just hit me up if you are interested. The order for this beast is once again open, very very dynamic pose unlike the other beasts around, very nice details and well textured too. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for probably the best museum type Archangel statue around. What makes it even more amazing is this is sculpted by no other than Caleb Nefzen. Archangel will come in his usual OG Blue and X-Force versions. And in case you are wondering, the base is the pod or the thing that Angel was created and turned into Archangel. We have some work in progress on the prototype of this Lady Loki. I think it's almost there. The full reveal will most likely be soon after Chinese New Year. We have the prototype reveal for this Ace, the Bat Hound. Looks amazing, lots of textures just like a real dog. It also comes with two portraits to choose from. Next is we have a full reveal for the prototype of this Batman and wow this came out amazing. It's as amazing as their Superman. There are still slots left available for this so just let me know if you are interested. We have the relaunch of this invisible statue. It will come in two versions. Either you get the bloody or the OG or clean version. Base is also quite small so it will be easy to display. And this is the second in line. There is also an Omniman which is about to ship soon. We have the prototype reveal for this museum type Supergirl. The seams on the arm will be fixed and will be less visible so don't worry about them. The eyes will be made out of glass so that will be really really nice and something nice to uh, look forward to. Everything else came out amazing and definitely the Supergirl statue to own. We have the prototype reveal for all the silver surfers. We have the painted silver which is the not shiny one. And we have the chrome version which is the shiny version of surfer. And finally the fallen or black silver surfer. All versions of silver surfer will have the exact same switch outs.
we got the full reveal for both the prototype of this Doctor Doom on there. Now we have the God Doom version as well. This is gonna be a massive statue, so be ready for that. This is gonna be as massive as throne statues actually. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this MCU Old Man Logan. I think this is the only statue uh, with a Hugh Jackman portrait and the portrait actually looks pretty good. I think this is a must-have for any Wolverine collectors. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this life-size Batman statue. This is not the bus but the actual full statue. As you can see, the base isn't there yet but the base will be the one on the renders. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this Venom, very unique portrait of Venom gotta say. It's the first time I've seen something like this done. I also like how muscular Venom is in this statue, also has some sideshow vibe in it. Again, every information you need will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you're looking for a different video to watch, you should check out this video right here. This is Carl and see you again next week.